everybody, it's Scott Omato. In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely download Optifine onto your computer without any worries, guys. All right, understanding exactly what's happening. So, you want to get Optifine from Optifine.net. Only get it from Optifine.net. I'll leave a link in the description, guys. Okay, on the homepage here, you'll have a ability to go to the downloads page. So, click this download link in the header, and it will take you to the downloads page. On the download page it will show you the latest version of Optifine available for Minecraft all right so it's the newest version of Minecraft essentially and then the latest version of Optifine for that if that's what you want then you can click the download button here and get to it but it will take you to an ad server so I'm going to explain that here in a moment but first of all I want to show you that if you click the show all versions you can get other versions of Optifine for different versions of Minecraft okay sometimes there will be preview versions preview versions like for Minecraft 1.15.2 uh, Optifine the final version was never released uh, so they were all in preview versions and they'll have pre one or pre 15 or whatever at the end pre 30 pre 30 is the last one uh, you can also see the dates of when they were released along that so if you need a preview version that's how you get it if you need a, an additional version beside the one that's shown here for some reason then you can click a more button and it'll show you diff different download options okay so uh, pretty much it's available for uh, all the major uh, recent minecraft versions all right but probably you're going to want the newest version which is shown on the page all right so with the download link be aware that when you click it it's going to take you to an ad server all right so if i hit download here then i am taken to add focus notice in the address bar that the server changes to add folk.us and, and a thing but this window is blank because I have ad blockers. All right, I'm running Adblock Plus and I'm running uBlock Origin. Now, Adblock Plus didn't get any ads from it. uBlock Origin blocked four. All right, so be aware of that as well. If you just have Adblock Plus, you may still see some ads. All right, but it will show you this skip button here. The skip button is what you want to hit. And then that will initiate the download of Optifine here and you can download it to your disk. All right, just like that. So if I click download, it's going to give me a warning from Chrome that at, here at the bottom of the window that says this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep Optifine and the version that you've got anyway? It's talking about Java jars. This is a generic warning that is talking about Java jars. It also does it for Windows EXE files, executables, and app files, okay? And, the, and probably some other ones too that could potentially have problems. You're getting it from the official site at the uh, download links that I've shown you, you're fine. So to download it, you hit keep like that. Now you see this additional window that popped up here that says, and you won't see this, this is a browser extension that added by myself that's called VT for browsers, which is virus total for browsers, all right? And so virus total is a virus scanning service that uses a whole bunch of engines. So this file when I downloaded was sent over to virus total so I can go to the virus total report and look at it and see that 56 virus scanners scanned it you'll recognize many of them in the list and they all came up clean so no engines detected in this the file is completely clean all right that's good now let's say that if you do not have an ad blocker guys all right let me show you how that looks if you do not have an ad blocker. And if you don't have an ad blocker, I suggest you right click first and use open link in incognito window. Now, because I don't have my ad blockers configured in the incognito window, the ads will be shown. All right. So if I open link in incognito window here, it takes me to the ad focus server and it shows me ads here in this window. This main section right here is ads, guys. Do not click anything inside this window here at all, this main area. Just like we saw in the clean site, you want to focus on the header right here and the skip button. Now there is a countdown, so let's watch that again quickly to show you that when you open the link, 
in here is going to be a countdown. Please wait five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds before it shows the skip button. All right. So it, be aware of that. As I said, don't click anything in these main windows. Then when you hit skip, the same thing will happen. It'll take you to this page, but you'll also see an additional range of ads uh, that you do not want to touch. Don't touch any of those hit the download button if you see a download button in any of these ads along here do not click that click this blue download button as of that and then you'll get your optifine file okay i do recommend using um, the ad blockers guys but keep in mind that optifine developers get paid some amount of money and they've been doing it for a long time for many years keeping up with optifine versions um, so their only source of revenues because it's free software is ads but i also want to mention this mirror link all right the mirror link they offer it you can click that and it will bypass the ad servers notice i go direct to the download all right and you can look at the address and you could actually just change the version numbers and stuff in this address to get other versions but they offer that option so i want to go over it it'll skip all ad blockers and you can or, or all the ad server and you can download the file directly to your disk okay again that's the cleanest option to do it they offer it as an option but they do not get paid anything for for that at all so just be aware of that you know companies need revenue to to go so when you go to optifine uh, or when you download it you will have it in your downloads and here it is it should be optifine and the version dot jar all right dot java jar and if you have java installed on your system it will have this coffee white coffee icon uh, that's telling you it's a java file you'll put it in your mods folder or you can right click it and choose open but you have to have java to run the installer i'll go over installations in other videos but i wanted to show you how to safely download it so guys i hope that was helpful and if it was helpful to you in any way then please leave a like it helps so much consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials like this and thanks so much for watching guys this is scott omato have a great day we'll see you in the next one Bye bye